yeah. borders Nicaragua. Now, this beautiful country enjoys a strong democracy, and 1987 was an especially proud year. Then, President Arias was awarded the 1987 Nobel Prize for Peace. Phil. Thanks, Chief. All right, Gumshoes, name the country Robo took the radioscape to. Radioscope, sorry. Was it Costa Rica, Panama, or Guatemala? Borders Nicaragua, it's got a strong democracy, and President Arias was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1987. Lock in your answers. Alexander, right down the end there. How did you go? What did you get? Guatemala. Guatemala. What about you, Andrew? Costa Rica. Costa Rica. What about you, Laurie? Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Costa Rica would be right. Well done. That means that Andrew and Laurie, you both get 10 points. Don't worry, Alexander. A chance for you to get some more points here along with the others because we've always got those intrepid telephone tappers down at Acme Bugnet. Once again, they have come to the party and brought us a recording of a phone conversation between Robo Crook and Carmen San Diego. Robo, those Acme agents have found you. Head for an Asian country that was part of French Indochina. Please specify. This description fits more than one nation. Very good, Solderhead. Just testing your memory banks. Go to the city of Vientiane. You'll get there in time for Bun Bang Phi. That's the rocket festival. Destination acknowledged. But what is the purpose of this festival? It's a wild celebration to kick off the rainy season. So don't forget your rust proofing. Now get going. All right, Gumshoes, name the Asian country. Is it Thailand, Laos, or Malaysia? Don't forget those clues. It was part of French Indochina, City of Vientiane, Bun Bang Phi Rocket Festival. Alexander? Malaysia. Malaysia. Andrew? Malaysia. <gasps> Malaysia. Laurie? Thailand. Thailand. Guys, it was Laos. Oh, no. You didn't get any points there, but that's OK because there is a lot more chances for you to win points like this round, which is the very cool round, the fantastic round, the amazing round is the l l l l lightning round. OK, guys, what we're going to do here is I'm going to ask you three questions each. The first one, get your th thumbs on your buzzers ready. The first one to push your buzzers and get the right answer will win five crime points. The first question we've got here is, New Zealand has many rare or extinct birds. In 1948, Dr Geoffrey Orbell was walking in Fiordland when he came across a large flightless bird that was last sighted in 1898 and it was thought to be extinct. Was the bird a moa, a takahe, or a pukeko? Andrew? Moa. Moa, no, it wasn't a moa. Alexander? Pukeko. Pukeko, no, it wasn't a pukeko. Laurie, what do you reckon? Um, Can you remember what I said? No. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's, it's a bird and it goes... Yeah. No, that sounded like a duck. No, that wasn't much help, was it? No. No. Oh, I'm sorry there. The, actual, the answer was Takahe. OK, that's all right. Moving along. Next question. Kate Shepherd, an immigrant from Scotland, became one of New Zealand's first human rights campaigners. In 1893, she succeeded in helping New Zealand to become the first country in the world to do what? Whoa, I haven't even given the options yet. Alexander? Woman to get the vote. That's right. Good Lord, I had some, I had some doozies here too. I said, was she the first one to install traffic lights or make all cyclists wear helmets? You were too smart for me there. Good one, Alexander. All right, third question, last one here too. Kate Shepherd appears on a bank note. Is it the $5 note? T Alexander? $10 note. $10 note's right. You're not related to Kate Shepherd, are you, no. Alexander? She's not your grandmother or something no. like that. Well done, you've done very well because you have got the most points out of that round, which takes you level with Andrew and Laurie. So it's 60 to you, Alexander, 60 to you, Andrew, and 60 to you, Laurie. But don't worry, he might be getting away at the moment, old Robo Crook, but after we've got some special help from our special filing cabinet, you never know. Now, I think... Yeah, it's probably this drawer here today. <laughs> It's just our lizard line. Hello? You what? You've seen Robo on your island. Between Flores and Sumbawa, an Indonesian island. And it's got the world's largest lizard there. And it's so big they call it a dragon. What? Huh? And it what? 
It's so huge it can swallow a goat whole. <coughs> oh, poo, man. Change your diet. <sighs> All right, gumshoes, name that island. Is it Bali, Sumatra, or Komodo? Don't forget those clues. It's an Indonesian island between Flores and Sumbawa, and it's got the largest lizard in the world. It's so big, it's called a dragon. Put in your answers. Alexander, how'd you go? Komodo. Komodo. Andrew? Komodo. Komodo. Laurie? Komodo. Komodo. Three Komodos, and you'd be right. Oh, you guys don't like living life apart, do you? Because it's all tied up at the moment. You're all on 70, and this is where this round becomes extra specially crucial because this is the final clue of this round, and now you guys are going to decide how much you want to risk. And if you're right, you're going to add it to your score, which could shoot you to the lead, but if you're wrong, we're going to subtract it, which means you could fall down the hole. But that's okay. Here's a look at the part of the world where they have headed with the loot. So if you think you know all these locations quite well, you might want to risk a lot. Now, you can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 crime points. Very, very important at the moment. Big decision to be made, or else you mightn't be moving on. Have a think. Finger, 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 I hope you guys are living life on the edge because you need to with the scores all tied up. And someone else who lives life a wee bit on the edge, on the edge of rocks, actually, Acme Fishnet. Come in, Mr. Royster. Oh, come on. You're chasing a giant dish that listens for messages from outer space? I, I mean, what do you figure? You'll hear someone ordering pizza on Pluto? Look, don't kid yourself, OK? There's no one out there. That's why oysters stopped space travel long ago. But hey, if you still want Robo, he's in the city of Seven Hills. Check Palatine Hill, where the original city was built. Or maybe the Piazza Navona, the site of an ancient racetrack. But you better hurry up. There might be a call on that dish for you. Big question now, guys. Name the city. Is it Florence? Milan or Rome. Don't forget those clues. City of Seven Hills, Palatine Hill, and Piazza Navona. <laughs> Alexander, big reveal time now. How much did you risk? Ten. Ten. This is very, very important, Alexander. What did you give us the answer? Florence. Oh, Florence. No, that's not right. Andrew, how much did you risk? Ten. Ten. Big call for you two. What was the answer? Florence. Oh, you got Florence as well. Laurie, you could shoot to the lead here. You could be the one. You could be the leader. How much did you risk? Ten. You risked ten as well. And what's your answer? Florence. Florence. Oh, no. You all three said Florence. The correct answer was, in fact, Rome. But don't worry about that because now there's still a chance. This is where it's come extra special crushing tiebreaker time. Tiebreaker tin. We go. Now, this is where the pace gets heated up. The tension is mounting. What I'm going to do, I'm going to say a whole lot of places, and what you have to do is you have to say the country that they're in. Here we go. Glasgow, Aberdeen, Edinburgh, Alexander? Scotland. Scotland! You'd be 100% right. Well done. All right, now this is between, you're moving on to the next round. Andrew and Laurie, this is between you now. Here we go. Name the country. Sheffield, Stoke, Brighton, Plymouth, Liverpool, Andrew? Um, England. England is right. Well done. So that means that you and Alexander have moved on to the next round. And Laurie, you with 60, you were a fine detective today. You did very, very well. And Chief has got something very special for you. Chief? Laurie, detective work's always tough, but you tried hard, and for you it's our official Carmen Sandiego t-shirt, the Collins World Atlas, to help you on your next journey. Thanks for your good work on this case. I salute you. Looks like Robo Crook is headed out to Rome. We're going to go to the Vatican City, where Rome is, so I better practice my Latin. Pater Noster, quies in chatus, santa vicedo no man tuum. At Regiat, Carmen San Diego. World turning. Yeah, yeah. Baden, Baden. Yeah. Baden.
Ben. Oh.